Hello, I am Grace. I'm here at Central Wellness Yoga Studio and Holistic Health Centre in Lincoln. Lovely spring flow for us to practice today. So come join me. Nothing you particularly need for your practice today. We will end with a seated meditation, so maybe a cushion or a block. But let's just begin. Draw the shoulders all the way up towards your ear. Kind of feel in so that little bit of tension. And I'm going to exhale and just release down. Good. Two more times. Take a deep, full breath in. You might make a fist with the hands. Kind of draw the shoulders up. And then big exhale. Let the belly soften into that. One more time. Full breath in. Draw up. Exhaling out the mouth. It might be a sigh or a sound. Maybe just for a moment. Close your eyes. Take your tension, drop down into your feet. How we begin our day can influence how the whole day unfolds. Take a full breath in, let that breath lift the chest, drawing the breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And then we inhale, press through the feet, reach the arms up over the head. Bringing the right hand to hold on to the left wrist. As you inhale, draw up through the left side. Just a gentle arc over to the right. And feel into some space around the side of the body and the ribs. The idea is we kind of create some space physically, mentally, beginning our day, decluttering a little bit. And our internal and also external world. So letting go of to-do lists for this time. Come back through center. Good. Swap the hands over as you take a breath in. We actively draw up through the right side. Press through the right foot. And then ex exhale, gently just arcing over, feeling into the body. We are practicing this this morning, being kind with our attention. So that self-awareness with kindness, our morning body. Good. And then again, take a breath in, come back through center. We'll just sweep the arms out wide. You can bend your knees, soft forward bend. So make sure that as you fold forward, the front ribs rest onto the thighs. It's just an ease here, releasing around the lower back. You might hold on to the biceps, the forearms. So again, feeling of just gently releasing the body in, letting the head drop down. Meaning to connect consciously to your breath in through the nose and breath out through the nose. So more important than anything with the breath, if you do practice the ujjayi breath, that more audible breath, constriction in the back of the throat, you can layer that on top. More important though, just a conscious, relaxed, smooth breath. Exhaling, so slight inversion here, head below the heart, just releasing. And then we'll release the hands down and we'll roll up onto the balls of the feet. Wake the feet up and you're going to come down and see if you can curl into a little ball. As kind of as curled in as you can. So tuck the chin. Take a nice full deep breath in. So you feel that all the way through the back of the body. And then we're going to slowly press your heels down. Begin to come back into that forward bend. We'll do that a couple of times. Inhale, roll onto the balls of the feet. Curl into that little ball. And then exhale, slowly pressing the heels down. Still keep the knees bent. It's our beginning of unfolding the body. Breath in. Curling in. And last time, exhale, bring the heels down, chest towards the thighs, bring your hands behind your head. So there's a little bit more traction, releasing any tension through the back of the neck. Just draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then we're going to press through the feet and begin to slowly unwind, coming as you lift the chest, elbows out wide. Big breath in, lifting up and back. And I'm going to exhale, draw your elbows forward, tuck the chin, and we'll come straight back down into that curl along the spine. So knees bent, chest to thighs, curl all the way in. Release your hands down, come back into that little ball. So on the balls of the feet, curled all the way in. One last time, 
Press through the feet, the so heels drop down, hands behind the head, and curl up nice and slowly here. So your spinal rolls coming all the way up as you lift the head up, elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, and then reach the arms up if that feels okay for your back, lifting up and back. And then exhale, so if you're clearing that space around you, draw the arms back down to your side and just stand for a moment, observing your breath. You need to observe where you feel energy flowing through the body. Any areas also that maybe feel a little congested, just giving them some kind attention this morning and observing a moment of quiet. Oh, it might not be quiet around you, but feeling of an internal quietening. Bring your hands to your heart space, step your feet together, placing an intention, if you wish, into your practice. And then as we begin to mo move and flow and breathe, let's take an inhale, raising that intention up, look up, reach up tall. As you exhale, sweep the arms out wide, bend the knees, fold all the way forward, chest to thighs, tucking the chin. Inhale, straighten the legs, look forward, lift the chest. Exhaling, knees bent, chest to thighs, curling in. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, press through the feet, rise on the breath, look up, reach up. Again, that feeling of reaching up and out. But as you exhale, curling all the way back in, chest to thighs, tuck the chin, folding forward. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen, flat back. Exhale again, staying in the forward bend. Make sure your front ribs are onto your thighs, the chin is tucked. Reach the arms behind you now onto your lower back. Interlacing the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Begin to lift the knuckles up towards the ceiling, long in the neck. So draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale again, the unfolding into the shape. So arms can start to come over the head. You might straighten the legs a little. Really feel into that unfolding with the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Easy breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, bend the knees. We're going to sweep the fingertips along the mat, lifting the chest, coming into chair pose, gaze to thumbs, press through the feet. And again, inhale, we rise up, lifting up and back. Again, that feeling of being able to reach out. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide, come back to stand again, Tadasana, embracing that moment of inner stillness. Hands to heart space, press through the feet, raise your prayer up, gaze steady to the thumbs. Exhale, burst the arms open, bend the knees, fold all the way forward, chest to thighs. Inhaling, halfway, lift, lengthen, flat back. Exhaling, bow all the way forward, chest to thighs. Inhale, plant the hands, step, right leg, left leg, meet into plank pose. You can always come down onto your hands and knees. But let's draw the chest slightly forward and get that broadening into the back. Good. Feel the front ribs lift. Gaze forward. Inhale. I'm going to exhale. Come all the way down onto the belly. Bending the elbows. Release all the way down. Tucking the chin. Release the tops of the feet. Bring the hands slightly forward and wider than your mat. So you're up onto your fingertips. Elbows lift. And again, actively draw shoulders away from the ears. Anchor through the tops of the feet and inhale. Lift the chest. Just stretching out here. Good, feeling that length across the collarbone, shoulders away from the ears. Come up as high as comfortable. Don't strain into the lower back. And then exhale, release all the way down. Let's flow that one more time. Inhale, rising up with the breath. Exhale and releasing all the way down. Bring your hands now underneath your forehead. Elbows out wide. Again, press through the tops of the feet, the thighs. And as you inhale, now lifting the elbows, lifting the hands, lifting the head so it lifts in one line. Deep breath in. So you're going to lift going to very high here. And you're going to bring the right elbow towards the right hip. So twisting here, left elbow comes forward. And you'll feel that movement right down through the ribs into the hips. So there's a contraction in the right side, lengthening in the left. 
Inhale, come back through center. Keep the chest lifted. Anchor the feet. Exhale, take it over to the left. So right elbow draws forward. Make sure the head is still on the hand so we're not straining in the neck. Breath in. And then exhale back to center and slowly release all the way down. Good. Bring the hands back midline of the chest, preparing cobra pose. Inhale, rolling up, shoulders away from the ears, press into the hands, come up into table. And keep that curling in. So tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone, lifting and broadening into the back. Full breath in. Exhale it out. Now exhale might even be out in the mouth. Inhale, arch into the spine. Lifting the gaze, looking forward. A few cat cows here. Exhale, curling and rounding in. Just moving with the breath. Inhaling, breath leads, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, curl and round. Good. Inhaling. Last time, exhale back into that curling rounding, tucking the chin, lifting and filling the back ribs. Come to neutral spine, inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, draw the right knee into the chest, step the right foot forward. Keep the back knee down, reach the arms forward, press through the feet. And circle, bring the arms all the way up. We're going to exhale, bend the elbows into those cactus arms, elbows in line with the shoulders. Inhale, extend, reach up. So we're reaching up from the center of the body to the fingertips. Exhale, bend, drawing back and in. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, bring the hands forward. Frame the front foot. Bring your left hand a little further out, maybe even off the mat. We're going to inhale, sweep the right arm up. And drawing the right arm slightly back so we can get that lift and extension across the chest. Let's take the gaze to the top thumb. Actively press through the right foot. Big breath in. And then exhale, bring the right hand down. Frame the front foot. And stepping right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, extend the left leg back. Draw the knee into the chest, curl in, step the left foot forward. Good. Again, gathering from the center, reach the arms forward, rising up, lifting the chest. Exhale, bend the elbows back into those cactus arms. Good. Inhale, extend and reach up. Exhaling, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhale for that movement around the shoulder, begin to reach the arms up over the head and then actively drawing the shoulders back and down. Inhale, bring the hands forward, framing the left foot. Right hand comes down, maybe a little off the mat. Inhale, left arm reaches up and opening across the chest. Press through the left foot as you inhale. Big reach and extension up and out. Left hand comes forward again, frame the front foot, step the left leg back, so on hands and knees, spread the fingers wide, tuck toes, exhaling, lifting up, meeting in our down dog. First down dog, so let's shift around a little bit, dropping the hips side to side, pressing one heel down and then the other. Nice and long through the neck and see again, you can get that broadness into the back, so we keep that energy of spring. Not getting heavy here. Keep that lightness. Good. So lifting off the wrist, lifting off the shoulders. Absolutely fine to have a slight bend in the knees. Good. One more deep, full breath in. Let's have that big clearing breath again out the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees. Get past your hands, end of your breath. Step, hop forward, feet together. Inhaling, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhaling, knees bent, chest to thighs, curling in. Reach the arms out wide, press through the feet. Come all the way up, look up, reach up. Centre hands, exhale down, heart space. Again, embracing that moment of quiet, inner quiet. Release the hands. We're going to step out to the right side of your mat. Legs about 
a feet about leg length distance, toes slightly turned in. Bring the right hand onto your lower back, palm facing out, and let the left arm lift up. Good, and we're gonna press through the left foot and reach up as tall as you can through the left side. The right shoulder drop down, full breath in. So if you can again create that feeling of space. On an exhale, we're gonna turn from the belly towards your right thigh, reaching that left arm across, catching hold somewhere outside of the right leg. So it might be to the heel, might be further up the leg. But then actively draw your chest away from your right thigh. See if you can snake that right hand a little further round. So we begin to twist towards the right. Again, from the belly, from the ribs, from the heart, lifting your gaze up. So it's a dynamic stretch. Keep that work through the left arm. You feel it round the back of the left shoulder. Full breath in. Good, full breath out. Try and press the thighs back, keep the legs active. One more deep inhale. And then exhale, bring your gaze down, press through your feet. And with one strong breath in, rise all the way up, left arm lifts. Good, inhale up, reach to the fingertips. And then as you exhale, turn your left palm down and bring your left arm in line with your shoulder. So feel that descending of the left shoulder down, right shoulder drops. Right hand still in the bind. Spin your left toes out 12 o'clock. Inhale, reach your left fingertips forward. Exhale, left hand down, or if you're using your block, helpful to have the block here. Don't go too low. So again, we want that spring energy, lift. Lift from the belly, lift the right rib cage, the right shoulder, the heart, the gaze. Good. Breathing in one. Exhale. Breathing in two, drawing the right shoulder away from the ear. You might even just drop for a moment the left ear towards the left shoulder. A lot of sometimes feeling congestion in that area. Breathe into it with kindness. Good. Now take your gaze down. Bend into your left knee, take the block with you if you're using it, walk your left fingertips forward, press into your left foot and lightly spring, lift the right leg up. So in bound, Ardha Chandrasana, balancing half moon. And keep a slight bend in the left knee or really start to press into that left foot. Same action though, turn from the belly, right rib cage, right shoulder, lift the heart, lift your gaze. And then finally unfold, reach the right hand all the way up. Big breath in, and then good, exhale lightly, feel the body move in space, step all the way back, and come up to stand, well done. Good, spin the toes again, slightly pigeon toed, leg length distance, let's take it to the other side, left arm onto the lower back, drop the left shoulder down, inhale, right arm reaches up, and feel the right shoulder lift in that action. Reach tall, press through the right foot, inhale, and then exhale, turning from the belly over the right, left thigh. Catch hold with the right hand. So in that action, create that dynamic stretch, a push and pull. Draw the chest away from the left thigh. And then begin to turn and twist from the belly, left rib cage. Getting that left hand might snake a little further round in the bind. Lift the heart, lift your gaze. Breathing in. Breathing out, inhale, lovely, exhale, inhale, gaze down, one strong inhale, press through the feet, rise all the way up, again, reaching up tall, and then exhale, turning the right palm down, feel the right shoulder drop as the right arm comes in line with the shoulder. Spin the right toes to the back of the mat. Block again if you're going to use it. Inhaling, right fingertips come forward. Draw the right hip in and back. So we're going to stabilize the right hip. Right hand down, shin or block. So again, not too low. It's much better to be high here. So you feel that lovely lift and the spinning of the belly, the heart, the gaze up. Breathing in one. Exhale. Breathing in two. Exhale, soften the left shoulder, breathing in three. Exhale. Inhale, gaze down, bend into the right knee, take the block with you, walk your right fingertips forward, press into your right foot and lightly lift up. Good. 
and play a little bit with these balances. Don't get too set here. If you fall in, you come back out. Have that kind of spring energy of play, of joy. Let's extend the left arm up. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, bend into the right knee and lightly again. Feel the body move in space as you come all the way back up. Good. Let's turn straight front of the mat. Bring the feet together. Back, Tadasana. Again, embrace that moment of stillness. Hands to heart space. Raise your prayer up. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhaling, burst the arms open. Fold all the way forward. Chest to thighs, tuck your chin. Inhaling, halfway, lift, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, we bow forward. Inhale, plant the hands, bend the elbows, some of your hop. Step back through the plank pose. Exhaling, bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale with your cobra or up dog. Take a couple of breaths there. Feel lifting up and back. And then we'll meet again in our down dog. Full inhale. Long exhale. And get nice and broad into the back. Tucking the chin. Weight down into the heels. Settle to the breath. Good. Come down onto our hands and knees. Take it into kneeling bow. Left hand towards the centre of the mat. I like to bring my left foot slightly out to the side. We'll turn to the right. Bring the right hand to the right hip. Lift again. So we've got the same action. We don't want to roll the right hip back. We want to stabilise the pelvis. So the right hand gives a little bit of feedback here. Feel active through the left hip and left shoulder. So we're pressing down into the left hand. But roll the belly, roll the right rib cage, roll the heart, lift the gaze. Extend the right arm up, lift the left, right leg. Bend the left, right knee and see if you can bring the foot towards the back side. You might be able to reach behind, catch hold of the foot, press the foot into the hand. So you can work towards that. And again, spinning the heart up, spinning the gaze up. Big breath. And we'll release with control. Bring the right hand, the right foot down. Come back onto hands and knees. Right hand slightly towards the centre of the mat, so the shoulder and the wrist in line. Again, I like that right foot out to the side, turning to the left. Left hand onto the left hip. Lift the left leg. Bend the left knee. If you're going to catch hold of the foot working towards that. So you've got a slight resistance here again. It's a dynamic stretch. Right, left hip is drawing slightly forward, so the pelvis stays neutral, but you're pressing the thigh back, pressing the foot into the hand. And again, spilling the heart, spinning the gaze up. Breath in and breath out. And as we release, again, meeting back. Hands and knees. From hands and knees, bring the feet to one side, bring the hips down, bringing the legs forward. I'm going to roll a couple of times up and down the mat. So just rocking and rolling up and down the spine. A couple of times. And there's energy. I'm going to lift up and back a little. Enjoy that movement. Let's see if we can start to find a balance as you come forward up onto your sitting bones. Lift the feet in line with the knees. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. You might reach the arms forward. Lift the legs. Boat pose. Three deep, full focus breaths. Breathing in one. Exhale. Gaze to toes. Breathing in two. Exhale. Good. Breathing in three. Exhale. Let's bend the knees and slowly roll all the way down to so the thighs. Rest onto the belly. You feel the weight of the back of the skull. Be supporting the head at all here with the blanket. The shoulders drop. Take a big deep full breath in. And release that out. And I'm just clearing out any stale, stagnant energy. It's the morning, any sleepiness. It's that inner sense of awakeness. But calm in our practice.
Let's extend the left leg, keep the right knee into the chest. And just gently, for a little bit more release here, drawing the right knee towards the right shoulder. And then we'll swap the legs over, left knee in, right leg extends. And then bring the right knee back into me. The left, bring the arms out wide. So in a T position, palms can face up. And we're just going to start to bicycle the legs here a little bit. And feel that into the core of the body. So it doesn't feel too much to begin with. We're going to do this for a little bit longer. Really stimulating some of that fire, agony in the belly. Again, burning away any stagnant, anything that doesn't serve us. Let's keep that going a little bit. Good, so you just it's in and out. So we're feeling we're reaching out dynamically from the center of the body through the legs. Make sure you're not arching into the back. Good, so keep with that. A little bit longer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees into the chest. Take a full breath in, wrap the arms around the tops of the shins. And exhale, really exhale out all the breath. <sighs> so empty, empty a breath. And big, sweet, full, spacious breath in. Long breath out. I bring the hands now behind the head, interlacing the fingers to support the head, elbows wide. Extend the right leg. And as you exhale, lower back presses down. Try and bring your right shoulder towards your left knee. And then we'll come through center. You can keep the chest lifted. Swap, extend the left leg. Bring the left shoulder towards the right knee. Good. I'm going to take this a little bit quicker. So bicycling the legs. And again, feeling that movement from the center of the body. Lower back presses down. Stimulating again. Core energy, center of self. Good. Keep it going. Side to side. Knee to shoulder rather than to elbow. Cross, cross, cross. Let's take for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again, slowly releasing. Feeling the weight to the back of the skull. Wrap the arms around the knees. Take a big breath in. And then really fully exhale. Feel that descending of the belly down. Empty, empty out. And the sweetness of the breath in. Bring your feet flat, fairly close to the body. Sweep the arms up over your head, palms facing up. You can keep the arms a little wider than the shoulders or bend the elbows. As you inhale, press through the feet. And we'll roll just one time up into a bridge pose. Stretching out the front of the body, press through the feet. Bring your chest towards your thighs. And then slowly tracing with the mind, the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. And just feeling that length through the side of the body. Big spacious breath wide through the ribs. And the soles of the feet drop together, knees out wide. Bring the hands down just to rest on the belly for a moment. Feeling as you take a breath in, the belly rise, that meeting, the outer world, rising up, ease. And as you exhale, that dropping back and in. Soften around the jaw and the face. Take a moment to really integrate some time of stillness, of rest. Just as important as flow and movement, energy out. So I need to put the time back into ourselves. Feeling now the cooling, calming, the breath slowing. Watching the breath with ease, the rise of the belly, and the fall of the belly. A moment of appreciation for your body, a 
this day, for this opportunity for another day to do good work, to show up, to do good in the world, purpose. Bring the arms out wide again, T position, turn the palms up. A big full deep breath in. And bring your right knee up towards the center and you're going to just, picking the right foot up as well, drop the right knee towards the left knee so it comes into a little twist and you might kind of explore that twist, rolling the head towards the right shoulder, arching into the back. And the feeling as you twist, moving from the center of the body out, reaching out to the fingertips, and then that drawing back, drop the right shoulder, roll the skull back, bring the right knee back through to center. Belly soft, so it's very open, receptive shape with the body. And again, breath in, bring the left knee up, rolling the left foot over. So the left knee moves towards the right. And again, it's just that very organic, Arch and stretch and reach. And then integrating as you exhale, coming back to rest, stillness, and that place of inner quiet. Just embrace that for one more moment. Exhale. Always welcome to stay here. I'm going to guide us up to seated. So if you're coming with me, you're going to start to slowly bring your feet flat, your knees up towards the ceiling, and press your lower back down into the mat. A little movement to your fingers. And drop your knees again into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Well done. Loving, kind attention to yourself. Come over to one side, take your time, and we'll come together up to sit. And this might be the time that you will find your block cushion to sit up onto. So sit nice and tall, doesn't need to be cross-legged, just here, or if you're still lying down, just feeling the energy of the practice. So settle into your seat. Weight down into the pelvis. And a gentle lift up and out to the crown of the head. Belly soft. Follow the breath again. Mind settled to breath. It's opportunity in our day to be present with ourselves. Feeling the rejuvenation, but also the nourishment of the practice. Taking care. A little bit more freer, easier. And just this potential in our day to find some ease and space. And we sit for these last few moments in this reflection, this energy of spring. And just thinking in a mind's eye, of, you know, what does nourishment mean to you? What nourishes you? What do you really enjoy doing? Don't think about these questions, insights, inquiry too much. Just see what comes up. Don't worry if nothing does. You know, what? You really feel you want to put your energy towards. And then when we reflect on that, now think on maybe what is no longer serving you. Uh, maybe in that element of letting go. And this is important to create space for new experiences. It's important to be honest with yourself. Know that everything serves a purpose at a time. It's also a time to let go. Okay. 
Again, just seeing what comes up in that inquiry. So just the act of intentionally thinking and asking questions and insights is enough to create a shift, to plant seeds. And then maybe as those aspects come a little clearer, where in your life are you thriving? You know, what really maybe needs your attention? So we're looking at the bigger picture of moving in the right direction. Aspects of your life really call your attention. And just sit with that for a moment. Steady with the breath. Take a big, full, deep breath in. Long breath out. No judgments, no expectations in those insights and inquiry. Just simply asking those questions, setting those seats. So let us place our hands to our heart. Lift your heart towards your thumbs. Bow your head towards your heart. And closing the spring energy practice with our reflections and our insights, our seeds that we set. Let's take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for what has been. Gratitude for what is. And gratitude for what is to come. All the riches, all the blessings in our lives, we give thanks. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Have a wonderful day wherever it takes you. Thank you.